All right, it is 12.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I am making the finishes, or I have made the finishing touches uh, to this here uh, assignment. Uh, basically, this is a weather uh, stat stats generator, and uh, it, prefer, uh, it performs certain actions um, basically what it's going to do is going to present a menu uh, that allows the user to you know access whatever information uh, that is in the data file uh, that data file has to be loaded um, this is not a program that will create a file it will simply uh, read a file that has already been created uh, that file is here is simply just uh, columns of numbers which uh, basically pertains to you know weather um, basically the year the type of weather that was happening during that year uh, how many days and etc here we have uh, you know it's going to show the statistics um, the average minimum that's what I just showed you there the total rainfall etc it's also going to allow user to do a search so that if they want to search for a single year and uh, see only that year and then this is just some extra things that uh, the code provides which is just going to be classes so sample should look like such and uh, present with the menu upon pressing one you should enter you should see the following if you press two uh, you should see all of the years um, if you search by date you will see such and then if you search by a month uh, you should see such so we're gonna go ahead and kind of view the code here we have IO screen which is standard F screen which you need for input output vector which is just like arrays it allows you to hold uh, a lot of data string uh, that's just basically like standard English uh, this is a string however strings are encapsulated or surrounded by quotations these are the classes here uh, we're going to have a weather class. Uh, we have some struts that uh, hold the, they're just um, placeholders. They hold the data. We have some vectors, which is also going to hold uh, types and stuff of such. And um, so we're going to move on down here. Um, to the constructor which is the constructor here it's going to create a reports um, we're going to move on down the function to load the data um, load data and basically it does what it does it enter the data uh, into the file name and it shows the information uh, this is a you know some input <clears throat> if you're using C++ 11 which is the newer version uh, if you have a, if you're using the older version you may not be able to use the newer version of C++ 11 so then you have to use this one um, which if you're using a new uh, version of C++ 11 this will be okay because uh, the newer version is always backwards compatible. <clears throat> of course, it's going to print out uh, C out. It's going to read to the end of the file, uh, EOF in the file. While true, I'm um, just going to get some variables. We have to define those. Um, and then we have to input into the um, instances like that. I have to make instances. Then we're going to set an if condition. If my file is, you know, dot in the file um, break, um, 
it's going to read out all that information. It's going to search. All right, and um, it just continues on. This is where it's going to try to match a year. If that doesn't match, then it's going to continue. So we did set, you know, the vectors here. And um, this is just the update, update. And then we get down here. Um, we're going to search for a description. So it's going to do such. It's going to match it. If it found it, good. It's going to keep counting until it finds it. It's going to break. If there is no entry, then, you know, it's going to add uh, a new entry. Uh, that's what the pushback and all that it means. Then it breaks out. And then, of course, here go the report. It's going to increment. It's going to say successfully loaded. Here's the function to print out everything. And, you know, it gets a little long, but and it ends here with the menu. So let's just run it. It's compiling. It says welcome to XYZ, whatever. Here's the options. We're going to go ahead and load the file, which I have saved here. We're going to enter the name of the file. You have to enter data and the extension, which is TXT. It's going to present with all of the years and the data. Um, 